Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI. And this is a 35-year-old female who injured her knee skiing a couple days ago. And on this axial T2-weighted sequence, we see she has a large joint effusion. Here's the patella. We can see these lines here, a couple different lines. So this is a big lipohemarthrosis where we have fluid, some blood products, and then also some lipid material here in the front. You can see subcutaneous fat is the shade, and here the... Uh, Lipid materials show up intermediate signal on this, but if we put up a T1 weighted sequence, we can see that it is very bright. So this is uh, lipohemarthrosis associated with this uh, injury of the lateral tibia. There's a non-displaced fracture line here. The posterior cortex is disrupted. And so a prominent impaction injury here laterally, so you know there's got to be an ACL injury. And sure enough, she has an avulsion fragment of the tibial a spine that's uplifted. So usually when uh, we see the pediatric patients, they'll have avulsion fractures, the ACL will be intact, and the bone will be pulled off. But the ACL will be intact. In this patient, she has the bony avulsion that's distracted superiorly, and her ACL is intact distally. The proximal ACL is intact, but there's a moderate sprain or moderate to high-grade sprain of the ACL here. So both things, a sprain of the ACL, not completely ruptured, and then an avulsion fragment with a superior uh, distraction of this fragment. Another view of the same things, this is the bone injury lateral of the lateral tibia. Almost always they'll have a contusion of the terminal sulcus of the femur, but this patient did not. And there's that little bone fragment that is uplifted. Now the ACLs can be difficult, so we're going to look on the axial images to look at this to see if it's completely torn or just partially torn. So I like to start near the very top. This is the intercondylar notch. This little uh, dark area is the ACL, right where it attaches to the femur, it attaches up here pretty high. This barely discernible little slit. If you go down one, you can see it intact. There's no discontinuity, no fluid signal. And over here you can see it dark, still intact, but it's thickened in gray, so this is where there's a partial tear. And if we go down, down, it's intact, so it's not completely torn. And up here it's just uh, thickened and partially torn. Part of this also may be related to um, laxity because the distal ACL is uh, distracted superiorly so now it's lax and this may be folded a little bit uh, contributing to this uh, abnormal appearance but again not completely ruptured and that's it a tear of the um, ACL a partial tear of the proximal ACL with an abulsion fracture which is unusual for someone this age and then the big lipohemarthrosis which we see commonly with these and thank you very much